Hidden perched in the cliffs of the Mei Chung Mountains is the Wat Ma Tong, or the Golden Horse Monastery. 60 kilometers north of Chiang Rai City in the Golden Triangle. The story of this temple touches on a man's spiritual strength, willingness for compassion, and his fight for the peoples of the region. The Golden Horse Monastery is only 40 minutes away from the city centre of Chiang Rai. As a Buddhist city, it's very common to see monks collecting arms early in the morning. But what makes this temple so unique and so characteristic is that they collect it by horseback. The Golden Triangle's long drug history has left the Hill Tribe people isolated and impoverished, leaving many children homeless and abandoned. Fifteen years ago, the ex-professional Thai kickboxer Prakruba re-established the ancient abandoned Golden Horse Monastery as a safe and spiritually educational place, which he used to teach his ways of Buddhism, Thai kickboxing and spiritual discipline to the lost children of the region. This is packed. Everyone really, really wants to get in there, you know, so I'm going to push my feet politely. At that time, the temple was donated some horses to take care of, which made it easier for him to spread the word of Dharma through the villages. Soon the horses became part of everyday life at the monastery, giving the children extra responsibility and the opportunity to learn the spiritual bond between animals and humans. <laughs> At the pinnacle of his professional kickboxing career, he had a strong vision to become a monk. That same day he left kickboxing and travelled back to the mountains of his homeland, Chiang Rai, where he sat in meditation for 15 days and 15 nights. After he woke, he walked into the surrounding hills and local villages. He saw how poor the hill tribe people were and their drug addiction. And he wondered why their lives were so difficult, why they had such sorrow. The monk's unique way of teaching has become very popular, with more and more people coming to learn from him. He teaches that we must think about health and uh -huh. nirvana before we pass away. We need to let go of what, what they call self-identity, mm. to identify with ourselves. Mm. We have to let it all go. And purify your minds mm. until you might feel calm down, peace. feel peace. Normally people don't understand about the language, mm. so he tried to organize a sentence, tie it sentence into like a story, story and tonations, easily to understand. It looks like a song, but it's not a song because monks cannot play a song. Is this what makes this place unique? Mm -hmm. Yes. He's few person, I, I never seen in Thailand like this. If everybody do like this, that means he is a good man, you have a good person. Our society will be his. People come from far and wide to offer their alms and make merit. In Buddhism, offering alms is not charity. It's more the respect given by a commoner to a monk, connecting them closer to Buddha. They believe that the more we give without seeking something in return, the wealthier in happiness and prosperity we will become. Buddhist rituals and practices vary from place to place. The meaning of the rituals are to aid in the journey to enlightenment and express physically their respect and blessings for themselves and others. Pilgrimage is another way of spreading the word of Dharma. His most distant temple is 100 kilometers away that they visit and maintain on horseback.
The monks plight to bring strength of faith and happiness back to the villages and hill communities have met with many challenges and dangers. Until recently, the border region was under control of a Burmese drug baron, making Krulbar's work here very difficult and dangerous. The monks' strength of heart and vision of mind prevailed, and the monastery is stronger today than it has ever been.